on the second and final day of the G7 summit. A summit which saw leaders agree a $50 billion loan for Kyiv, using interest on frozen Russian assets. Over in Moscow, the Russian president laid out his conditions for ending the war. Vladimir Putin said that Russia would only end the conflict if Kyiv handed over four provinces claimed by Moscow and gave up its aspirations to join NATO. The conditions are very simple. Ukrainian troops must be completely withdrawn from the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions. As soon as Kyiv declares that it is ready for such a decision and begins the actual withdrawal of troops from these regions, as well as officially notifies that they abandon plans to join NATO, in order to cease fire and begin negotiations will immediately follow from our side. Demands that Volodymyr Zelensky, who also signed a 10-year bilateral security deal with Joe Biden at the G7 summit, was quick to reject. You cannot trust such messages. Putin is following the same path. Today he's talking about four regions. Before it was Crimea and Donbass. I'd like to remind you of the time when it all started in 2014, when Russian occupation started, there was talk about Crimea and Donbass. Today he's talking about four regions. He calls Ukrainian lands Russian territory. Putin's comments come a day before a peace summit for Ukraine and Switzerland, which will be attended by dozens of world leaders, including US Vice President Kamala Harris, French President Emmanuel Macron, and the leaders of Germany, Britain, Italy, Canada and Japan. Russia has not been invited, and China has refused to attend as the talks do not meet its expectations, which include Russia's participation.